You ever had that thing where you really want to modify yourself with a screwdriver? Uh, good morning, evening, um, depending on what time zone you're in. Whatever it is, mine's cooler. And welcome to the Bad Mouse Driver Show. I'm your ravishing host, Noah G. And today we will be diving into the Kony 2012 video. Now, first, credit where it's due. The internet is responsible for the spread of this video. The new ability of information to move at the high speeds that it does today is all thanks to the internet, and it means that anyone can end up in the public spotlight with a tiny little YouTube video of their cats doing some stupid crap. News spreads like wildfire, stocks are traded in seconds, and most of all, well maybe not most of all, but you can uh, complete transactions of money at the tap of a button, which is so fast that it can happen before you even think about it. And our friend Jason Russell, the creator of the Kony 2012 video, has taken full advantage of this fact. Now according to a quick Google search, Google, 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 sounds like I have like a bouncy thing in my throat. It's almost like I've been drinking boba milk tea, except backwards. Anyway, according to a quick Google search, which, take, which takes a whole lot of effort, Mr. Russell is a budding filmmaker who is an artist type, a bohemian, a creator of great works such as the film Step Up 2. This irrelevancy aside, Mr. Russell has created a video exposing the crimes and tyranny of a Ugandan terrorist leader, one Joseph Kony. He brilliantly provides the context. Mr. Kony has killed thousands of people, forced girls into sex slavery, boys into child armies, forced children to kill their own parents, and he begs us to take matters into our own hands. I'm all for that, but by donating money to his project. Now in this video, Jason, J Jason Russell is narrating most of the time, and there are a couple of instances I'd like to quote. Um, now, at one point, Jason Russell quote, states the following. As if Kony's crimes aren't bad enough, he's not fighting for any cause, but only to maintain his power. So his voice doesn't sound like that. Big deal. But, um, as he's saying this, he's highlighting a little, like, unnamed passage from an unnamed paper to back this up and allow me to read it for you. Kony is not fighting for any cause, but only to maintain his power. Which is totally different from the other thing that he just said. Um, so he's... Anyway, let, let's go on. Let's go on. Maybe it gets better. Mr. Russell also asserts that Mr. Kony, and I'm quoting again, is not supported by anyone. And his evidence is another unknown document upon which the text, a few words are highlighted. The text is not supported by anyone. Finally, Mr. Russell explains that Mr. Coney has repeatedly used peace talks to rearm and murder again and again. He has yet another unnamed typewritten document to back this up. And the following text is highlighted. He has repeatedly used peace talks to rearm and murder again and again. Good. I'm just, I'm just in awe of Mr. Russell's skillful command of the English language. I mean, take the last paraphrase. He really lets you know that Mr. Coney hasn't just used peace talks to rearm once, but repeatedly. And not only has he done it repeatedly, he has used peace talks repeatedly to rearm and murder again. And this is the best part. Again. Looks like Mr. Russell never took the SAT and did those redundancy questions, but hey, a good SAT score never got anyone anywhere, right? Credentials alert! Actually, Mr. Russell used three different words to show that Coney is a repeat offender, two of which are, again, what's that, like, repeatception? That's a, that's a real thing, which it is in my imagination, because anything's real in my imagination, including my demented fantasies. Now, to reinforce his point, Mr. Russell states it yet again by having the head prosecutor from the International Criminal Court 
remark on camera, Coney different times proposed peace and then just regained strength and attacked. Now you gotta hand it to the guy. He tells you the same thing so many times you actually start to believe it. Granted, this person is on is the head prosecutor from the International Criminal Court and Coney is number one on their hit list, which they, or Mr. Russell, have given the sophisticated name Worst Criminal List. But as the camera zooms up the list, I can't help but notice that every single one of the members is African. I mean, let, let me read a few to you. Um, Muammar Gaddafi from Libya. Laurent Gbagbo from the Ivory Coast. Francis Muthara from Kenya. And, of course, Joseph Kony from Uganda. All listed under African countries. Now, anyone think that's a little bit racist? Now, I'm not saying that the International Criminal Court is prejudiced and I'm not just denying it to avoid getting arrested by them, but when, when I tell you about, like, an unstable state with violence and despotism and starvation and human rights abuse and disease, it's easy to think of an Af African country, right? Um, now, it's, it's an easy mistake to make, but this is the international freaking criminal court. They're supposed to be objective so that they can identify criminals and arrest them. I mean, North Korea isn't even on their radar. But, still, he's a bad dude. And there is something you can do to help. All you have to do is go to Jason Russell's website and give him your money. I'm sorry, but I'm really, I really am. But I think we need to take this with a grain of salt. You can do your part by mentioning Coney on Facebook and encouraging your friends to raise awareness, but don't go donating to this weirdo filmmaker who writes like an 8th grader. And definitely, don't try and go after Coney yourself. You gotta be careful about things like this, young man. Don't buy into them too easily without taking a good look, even if the majority of you, the people you know, are in agreement. All right then. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Because there was a report of bed bugs that are this big. And that re re report may or may not have been in my own head. And may have Kazian cuisine be forever in your future. Wow.